All right, so today I wanna to talk to real estate agents who are considering joining a team, whether that's at their current brokerage or at a different brokerage. There's a lot of agents that reach out to me that are interested in joining EXP that say, you know, I'm considering this team over here or a team at my current brokerage. I feel like I'll get more support, but I have to pay more money. So I don't know if it's the right move. So what I wanna to do today is break down all of the advantages and disadvantages because it really is different for every person. And a lot of real estate agents just don't wanna become that 80% percent of real estate agents that fail in their first five years. So if this is you, you're a new agent, or maybe you're just stuck in your business and you need help, I'm going to go through everything you need to know about joining a team and whether or not it's right for you because everybody's different. And if you want to learn more, keep watching. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharman, your real estate marketing expert. I have over 17 years of marketing experience specializing in web design and SEO, and I take that experience to help you grow your real estate business. So if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new content. And if you want to get my training, resources, coaching, and courses for free at no extra cost or split to you, take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. And there's a link below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to learn more. So let's dive into today's topic. All right, so today I want to talk about joining a team. I get a lot of agents that reach out, especially new agents and agents who are just stuck in their business or having a hard time getting leads and clients, and they feel like they just need extra support. So we're going to talk about that today because there's usually an extra component when joining a kind of formalized team. And, you know, at our brokerage, if somebody wants to form a team, they have to give in an additional minimum 25% split to that team because they're providing additional resources. And there's ways around that. So this is one of those videos that you do need to watch all of it because I'm going to go through the pros and cons and some different solutions and kind of what we do different inside of our group where you get more resources than you get as a team and you're not paying an additional split because there is always that component. So I wanna break down how joining as an individual agent works, how does joining as a team works, and what are the disadvantages of both of them because this is super important. I see a lot of real estate agents that just make decisions based on emotion instead of fact and logic, and they have the wrong expectations when they get into real estate, so that kind of steers them in the wrong direction. So I have other videos too where you can watch our 90-day fast start plan, so if you're trying to launch or relaunch your business, what do you need to focus on in the first 90 days? That is a great foundation that will give you more resources than a team is going to get you and it's free. So go check that out on my YouTube channel. We even have a whole course for it that you can purchase as well. But it's important to get the right tools and information. And that's what we're going to break down for you today. All right. So one of the first things that's very different about joining a brokerage as an individual versus joining a team at a brokerage is the autonomy. And that basically basically means how you kind of self-govern yourself, what you do. If you join an individual brokerage, yes, there's a set and guidelines for everybody that joins. You know, you'll have specific marketing guidelines and things like that. But for the most part, especially here at eXp, you have your own personal branding. You can choose how you want to market to clients, how you interact with clients. You usually have a little more freedom. But when you join a team, there's more restrictions because you're joining under that team's branding and they have a specific way that they want to do things, the way you work with leads, how you interact with leads, how you get your leads. And there's other costs associated with that, which we're going to talk about. So if you are an individual who likes to do things your way, do things at your pace, a team is probably not the right option for you. But if you're somebody that has a hard time getting started, you don't know where to focus, you need somebody just to tell you what to do, hand you some leads train you and work with you one-on-one, -on -one, then for a short period of time, a team might be the right structure for you. So if you're a go-getter, definitely join as an individual agent. If you are somebody that's just kind of still with that employee mindset, you need to be told every step of the way what to do, and you don't have that kind of creative process and that go-getter attitude, then a team might definitely be the approach for you. All right, the next thing that we're going to talk about is flexibility. Now, when you're joining an individual as an individual agent at a brokerage versus a team, you have more flexibility as an individual because I've seen a lot of teams, they have specific hours that you 
have to be in the office because you're operating under their brand they want to have certain numbers and success because remember if you come in and do nothing you don't follow these rules you're going to tank their numbers and their idea and identity as a team is that they're able to be able to get you x number of sales guaranteed from the leads that they're providing so if you're not following their plan you're not going to succeed and you're going to look bad so a lot of teams will generally say that hey you need to be in the office from this time to this time making cold calls or you know following up with your clients and so on because that's how they can guarantee success at a team because remember they're not getting paid unless you close a deal because that's where that extra split comes from which we'll cover next so if you need flexibility and hours in the way you do things you definitely need to join as an individual agent. If you like that structure where, again, it's that employee mindset where I need to work these hours, I need to have this kind of set routine and you can't set that for yourself, then definitely a team is for you. All right, now let's talk about the additional commission. So when you join a brokerage as an individual agent, you usually have a set split and cap at most brokerages. And if you're at a brokerage that does not have a cap, you need to leave that brokerage immediately because you need to stop paying commissions at a certain point. So here at eXp, we are on an 80-20 split. Unless you're a brand new agent, then it's a 60-40 split for your first three transactions. So myself as an example, I'm on an 80-20 split. So it means I get to keep 80% of my commissions that of eligible commission, and then the broker gets to keep the other 20%, okay? And then after I cap, which my cap here in the US is $16,000. So that means out of that 20%, I paid in $16,000 to them, I go on a 100% uh, commission. So it means I get to keep all of my commissions, I only pay an actually very small transaction fee for each transaction, okay? And now what happens is, for the remainder of that year, I get to keep 100% of that money. So if you join a team, not only, let's say, if you're at eXp Realty, you're on 80-20, you would have to pay at a minimum 25% and most teams are 30 to 50%, okay? So you would have to pay an additional 25% of your commission on top of paying your brokerage or EXP and you are going to lose money. Now, the reason why that is is usually you get an additional resources, which we'll talk about next, and you are paying for that lead as well that they gave you. Now, some things you have to watch out about. So if a team is definitely for you at this end, you need to watch out about how they cover you. So um, I have some agents that are just in that mindset that they needed to join a team, and that's okay. There are certain agents that that work well for, so we found them a local team, and they took our resources, their resources, and are doing very well with it. And it's really going to be a limited time anyways. You're not going to stay at a team forever, which we'll talk about later. But let's say that they brought their own lead in. They still have to give 30% to the team, okay? Because the team, you're paying for the resources, sometimes a different office, all this extra mentoring. So you do owe them something, and you do if they're really providing resources. And then if they provide the lead and that lead turns into something, then they have to pay 50% of that commission to them, and then your brokerage fee, and then what's left over is you. So a lot of times you walk away with less than half of what the commission is that you have to give to that team. So really consider it because if you have the resources to run ads, to really kind of 10X your business and you have the time available to implement everything you need to do, you should definitely be an individual agent and not give away because I can tell you a lot of their leads are coming from Zillow paid ads and you can do that yourself. Um, if you need help with that, we provide those resources to our team. Our brokerage even has Make It Rain, which is Google ads. They don't charge for the platform. You just pay your ad spend. So we have those resources here. You could do on your own at no additional cost or split to you and ads that are just done for you, ready to run. So if that is you, that you just need leads coming in, but you're willing to spend the money to get them right away with paid ads, then you should definitely be an individual agent no matter what brokerage you're going to. I have a full service marketing company. So anyway, I can give you guidance and help you with that. We have coaching programs. So whatever you need, you can do that. Keep more of your money if you can. If you're not that person, you're getting lost, you just want numbers to call and you don't want to have to worry about it. Maybe you're full-time at a job, so part-time, you'd rather have that structure Then maybe a team's for you. But another caveat too is a lot of teams and brokerages nowadays do not like people starting part-time. So 
If you need to start part-time, eXp might be a great option for you. But think about the amount of money that you're gonna be spending. If you don't have a lot of money up front, then a team could be the right option for you if you've gotta have a lead now and you can't wait for some organic things like YouTube and social media and Google Business Profile to work. Wait those couple months, you want to start generating leads today then paid ads are a great way and a team could be a quick way to help you with that. Even if you're still interested in eXp and you love the resources that we have, take a look at partnering with us. We could still recommend a local team. You can actually choose a sponsor and a different team at the same time. You don't have to do both, even though most people act like you need to. So I have agents that have had to do that, one or two out of my group of agents, and that's okay. And they're flourishing and they're just temporarily looking to get that local, local one-on-one, get some leads added to them. So there's no shame in that. So if that's you, reach out to us. There's a link below where you can book a one-on-one call with me. All right, now let's talk about resources and training. So if you're joining a brokerage as an individual, you are gonna get what that brokerage offers. So if you join something like eXp Realty, you're gonna get your individual state meetings and training. You're gonna get 80 plus hours of live training from top agents in the industry and top just professionals in the industry overall. So you're going to get that help and resources that you need. But then you have other groups inside of eXp that take that the next step where they're offering additional resources like we are that kind of fill in the gaps with what the brokerage is not offering. And we give that at no extra cost or split. You're not joining a team, you're joining as an individual. But at some brokerages that don't even offer what eXp is offering, usually a team will form and they see an opportunity to provide an additional resources. Maybe they're great with Facebook ads, maybe they're great with YouTube, whatever it may be, they will have you join that team inside the brokerage. So not only will you get those brokerages resources, but you will get that team's resources as well. But remember, as we previously talked about, it comes with a high cost. You know, you're paying 30 to 50% usually, uh, depending where you got that lead from, uh, for each transaction that you do that you have to give up. So you're losing half of your money when you could have just either went and bought training similar to that or joined a group like mine at eXp Realty. So teams, like I said, can be a great thing that provide an additional resource, but you'll tend to get more kind of one-on-one support, more kind of a schedule. You'll get leads that are coming to you. And again, most of them are cold leads to call. So you gotta be okay with doing that because that's how most of those teams can operate and be able to give you a steady stream of leads. So you're usually cold calling those, but you will get more focused individualized training. And a lot of times a team will specialize in something. And so if you're looking to get into luxury, there's usually a luxury team and they operate a very specific way. So again, you lose a bit of that autonomy but you're kind of showing how to get into that industry. And there's some that are great with FISBOs and some that are great with first time home buyers and listings. So you can find your specialty that way and it's a more of a way to get kind of a quick, more in depth, intense, hands on training and learning that niche if that team is performing. And we'll talk about some things to look at when you're looking at a team, but that will be kind of the benefit of joining a specialized team like that is more specialized, individual focused training but again, it comes at a cost. And again, like I said before, if you want all of that, we offer that at eXp Realty at no extra cost or split. We're growing like crazy. We're one of the top growing groups at eXp just because of all the resources that we provide, like how to get on YouTube, uh, we have Karuvi, social media content done for you. We have a Google business profile course. I have real estate website templates, sales funnels, landing pages, everything that you need for that. We offer coaching, one-on-one mentoring, over seven masterminds a week, check-in calls, everything that you need to succeed and get that one-on-one help. And again, it's at no extra cost or split. We only benefit when you make a transaction and we get money out of eXp's 20% and you get to keep all of your 80% commission. So whether you're a new agent, maybe you're a team leader and wanna bring that model over, get our resources as well and do what you're specializing in, you can bring that over to our group at eXp Realty, keep your branding, nothing will change, it will just say brokered by eXp Realty. Same thing if you're a brokerage struggling to keep your doors open, we can help you with that as well. All right, now let's talk about team dynamics. This is really big. So if you're joining as an individual agent inside of a brokerage, you're pretty much on your own. You might not like your office, but it's okay because you could still run your business, do your thing, and nobody is really going to care about that because you're producing 
you're doing your own thing, you're running your business. But when you join a team, you have a lot of time that you have to be together as a team. You might be making calls at a team, have to report daily to the office. I've seen teams go out and do video recording together at properties. So you're going to be working a lot together. And if that team dynamic doesn't match your personality or the way you learn or the, what motivates you, you're kind of just wasting your time and money there as well. So one, make sure you join a team that has the right dynamic for you. I've had agents that were on a team and they were like, it was too much hoorah for me, too much, you know, like hammer kind of effect where they, you got to do what you do. And if that's not you, you're not going to thrive in that environment. So one, if you do decide to pick a team, pick one that really matches your kind of personality, find people that you want to be around, that you want to learn from and that you respect as well. Because if not, it's not going to work. All right, let's talk about limited growth. So if you're joining a team, you kind of have a glass ceiling. That's why I have said before, like a team is something you join temporarily. You don't stay there long term. And that's why you'll see a lot of agents kind of go there for six months to a year. They figure out, they get their groove, and then they're out. Um, there's usually no long term commitment to a team because you're constantly always giving half of your commission to this team. You can't grow your business the way you want to grow it. You have that limitations, especially with branding your schedule, kind of the autonomy that we talked about. But at a brokerage, you can go as far as you want to because you are doing business your way. And especially if you're in a brokerage model like eXp, you have your own branding. You just say brokered by eXp Realty. You can build your own rev share group. So now you've created passive streams of income like I've done. Right now we're sending around 40 agents and we're growing. And those agents, when they make a deal and I help them get to that point, to make a deal, guess what? I get paid by my brokerage, not by the agent, and you can build that business here. So when you're at an individual agent, whatever agency it could be, whatever brokerage, you are able to grow your business the way you see fit. You can start your own team, and then the you know the sky's the limit. So you wanna make sure you're in the right tool for your long-term goal. So even if you decide to do a team, you can start off doing that. Just realize that won't be the end-all be-all. You're eventually gonna have to go on your own to be able to grow and scale your business the way you want to and build the brand that is you. Because remember, you are the brand, you are the business. So you, it's okay to operate under that team's identity for a short period of time, but you need to have a plan of when you're going to go on your own, when you've gotten enough people in your database, enough referrals that you can make it on your own or the enough training where you can make it on your own. And again, if you join us here at eXp under my team here inside the Wolfpack, you're going to get so many training and resources that most of these teams aren't even offering. Most of those teams offer, yes, some sales training and things like that, but a lot of it's cold calling, a lot of it's expireds, Fizbos, uh, Facebook ad leads, Google leads, Zillow leads that you could just go get on your own. Yes, there's an upfront cost, but you're going to save money in the long term because you're not giving up half of your commission every deal. So you have to weigh all of these pros and cons. If you're confused and you just want to talk to somebody, I guarantee you, if you talk to anybody that's ever been on a call with me, I don't pressure you. It's not a sales call. I love to give you all the options and all of the information to make a logical decision because it's not based on emotions and how you feel. And you'll hear this in a call with me. If I, if somebody says, well, I feel that's not a valid thing. Yes, you can feel things, but at the end of the day, what is the data? What are the facts? What is your goals? That's what we need to talk about. So go ahead and book that call with me. And like I said, you're going to get resources like Google Business Profile done for you. I have agents literally in less than two months getting their own calls, literally four to five calls a week just from Google Business Profile starting out. We can run ads for you. We can. We have ad copy already done for you, social media content done for you, social media agent academy by Mike Sherrard, masterminds, everything that you need to grow and our team is living proof. I have agents in their first year doing 15 deals. So if you wanna be like that, if you have a team or a brokerage and you're just struggling to keep up with resources and helping agents, bring it over here, partner with us, and let us build you an even bigger business and handle all of the admin work, all of those things that you can just focus on growing your business. So there's a link below where you can book a call for that. And again, if you have any questions, what I went over, drop those down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. What are you struggling 
struggling with in real estate, drop that down there below. If you have any questions, reach out. If you need marketing help, we have a full service marketing company. We do websites, branding, social media, video editing, you name it, we do it as well. And if you want to keep seeing content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.